Today I'm going to be treating some bamboo with the solution of boric acid and borax. This treatment helps prevent bugs making a meal out of my bamboo once it's cut. I've got some older pieces here that I cut last season and I'll be using these today to treat. I'll cut them, I'll split them and soak them but ideally I would be using fresh cut combs but this is the wrong time of the year to cut. I've got another couple of months till the end of the dry season before I cut any fresh culms. But today I'll use these older ones because I need some new stakes for my garden and some posts for a compost bin that I'm going to be building. So the next thing is to split this one. Bamboo is a highly sustainable and eco-friendly material that's widely used in manufacturing of various products as well as in gardens. However, bamboo is susceptible to insects like termites, borers and the powder post beetle, and even fungi. If not treated properly, bamboo products and structures will only last a few years before they are eaten to dust. I like to clean them up a bit just to take the sharp edges and the hairy bits off so that they look nicer and they're easier to work with. In a previous video I showed you how to heat treat bamboo. This has good results but they're limited. In our northern Thai environment there are bugs that relentlessly chew away at my bamboo. Any bamboo, whether it's been heat treated or not, is susceptible to those insects. They produce a fine powder that makes a mess and covers whatever's growing nearby. The next step is to pierce the nodes in the interior of the pieces I want to keep whole so the solution can penetrate all the way through the inside of the bamboo. And I'll do this with a piece of iron pipe that I've sharpened the end of. Treating bamboo with a solution of boric acid and borax is pretty straightforward and reasonably cheap. There are a variety of ways of doing it that are effective. In this video, I'll show you the method that I'm using. The next step is to mix up some borax and some boric acid into a solution that I will then submerse my bamboo pieces into. Boric acid and borax are both natural minerals that have been used for centuries as natural insecticides and preservatives. When bamboo soaks in the solution, it penetrates the fibres and gets absorbed. Starch stored in the bamboo as it's growing is neutralised during the process. The starch is what the bugs feed on and without it, the bamboo is not so attractive to the insect. The result is a highly durable and long-lasting bamboo product that is resistant to insect infestation and decay. Whether you're using bamboo for furniture, flooring or in your garden to support beans or tomatoes, treating it with boric acid is an excellent way to increase its lifespan. It is essential to treat only mature bamboo poles. Mature poles have reached their strength and completed the lignification process, making it suitable for most uses. Young poles are not strong enough and harvesting them can negatively impact the health of the bamboo clump. I'm using a piece of leftover PVC piping that I've put an end cap on to use to soak the bamboo in. Now it's nice and full with the boric acid and boric solution and I'll leave it there for five to seven days before I pull it out. Just put a cap on it, a plastic bag, to stop it evaporating and we'll let it do its thing. My bamboo's now been soaking in the solution for seven days, so now it's time to remove it. I'll leave these pieces to dry in the shade for a few days. Best to leave them in the shade because they can crack if you leave them in the full sun. Then I'll make some good use of them in my garden. 
And now I'll go and soak some more pieces of bamboo that I've prepared in the same solution. 